What's up guys, Shane Starnes here, and if you just picked up a new Galaxy S10 Plus or an iPhone XS Max, one of the most frustrating things that you have to do when you get a new phone is transfer all of your content from your old phone to your new phone. Now things like the iCloud on iPhones and things like Smart Switch on your Samsung devices are going to allow you to pretty easily transfer most of your content mostly your contacts, your text messages, and even your photos can easily be transferred. But one of the things that are often left behind or untransferred during that process is going to be your social media apps. Today, we're gonna be taking a look at the Restore Social app by Dr. Phone. Let's go ahead and get started. First up, you wanna head to the link in the description and grab the Restore Social app. You can download it here. There is a 30-day free trial available and you can unlock a one-year license for only $19. $19.95. As you can see, this allows you to transfer between all devices, iOS or Android. You can transfer Android to Android, Android to iOS, iOS to iOS, or iOS to Android. You'll also be able to back up and restore WhatsApp messages securely. Of course, this works for other social media apps like Line, WeChat, Viber, and Kick. All right, so to make the transfer on Android, we do want to turn on USB debugging, so we'll go to our settings. Go to about phone, go to software information, go to the build number and tap on that eight times to unlock developer mode. From developer options, you're gonna go down to where it says USB debugging, go ahead and turn that on. All right, next up, we'll go ahead and open up the Dr. Phone kit. We'll open up the Restore Social app. All right, so we have some options here. We've got the backup WhatsApp messages. So you never know what's gonna happen to your phone. Maybe it gets damaged and you lose all of that WhatsApp information. If you have a backup, then all of that's protected. So we'll go ahead and start the backup process. It says, please connect your device to the PC. So go ahead and connect it to the PC and we'll unlock it. Now you may get a notification here asking you if you want to allow the PC, do go ahead and allow the PC. You'll see from the screen here, it's telling us that we'll first need to back it up in the WhatsApp app. So we'll go ahead and do that. All right, so to back up our WhatsApp chats, we'll go into our settings. We'll go into chats and we will go into chat backup and then we'll select backup. Also make sure that the Google Drive backup is turned off and that it says never under backup to Google Drive. So we'll go ahead and back it up. All right, and then on our screen, we can go ahead and click the next button. Are you sure that WhatsApp has been backed up? If you click next without backing up, it may cause WhatsApp data to be lost. So we'll go ahead and say yes, because we know we backed it up. And then it's gonna go ahead and find that backup. So we'll give it a few minutes to find the backup. All right, so from our app again, we're going to restore that backup. All right, so when you get this, this is backup found, we'll go ahead and restore and click next on the screen. And that's going to go ahead and restore the backup to the computer. It says the Galaxy S10 backup is now complete. Okay, so we have our backup of the Galaxy S10 Plus. We're gonna go ahead and restore that on our iOS device. So we'll go ahead and launch that. We'll grab the latest S10 Plus backup for our new iPhone. And now we're gonna go ahead and plug in our iPhone to the computer. All right, and then you'll have to make sure that you do trust the device. And as you can see, we are now connecting to the PC and we will click the restore button. This is going to wipe out what you already have on your iPhone. More than likely, this will be a new iPhone and you're bringing over your backed up information from your old phone. So we'll go ahead and select yes. And it's going to have us to log in and apparently in order for this to work, we'll have to turn off Find My iPhone. Once you have Find My iPhone turned off, go ahead and reconnect. So we may have to try this from scratch. We'll go ahead and restore again. And as you can see here, the backup data, it grabbed that, it's generating restoration data on our phone, which seems to take a little bit of time here. So we'll give this a few minutes and then we'll come back and see our results. Not only can you back up and restore your WhatsApp messages, you can also transfer between phones. So you can transfer between iOS and Android. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do that real quick. Click on this transfer. 
and we'll go ahead and connect both devices to the PC. All right, so you'll see that we have both devices connected, the Galaxy S10 and the iPhone, and now we'll go ahead and transfer it. So let's transfer all WhatsApp chat history from source device to destination. The existing WhatsApp chat history on the destination device will be overwritten. So right now we're transferring from the Galaxy S10 to the iPhone. So we'll go ahead and click yes. And it's going to begin the transfer process. We'll just give this a few minutes to do its thing. All right, and it's asking us to start the WhatsApp on our device. So we'll go ahead and launch it on our phone. <coughs> and, we'll, and we'll select the continue on the phone. And we'll allow, all right, and then we will select to restore. and click next. It also is telling us that we have to make sure that Find My iPhone is turned off for this to complete. So we'll go ahead and turn that off on the phone and then try again. It shows that we are 100% complete. If all went well, we should have that backed up data on our WhatsApp app. So open up the WhatsApp. All right, so right here we do have all of the backed up data here. So everything came on over to the iPhone from the Galaxy S10 Plus. This is a great thing to be able to make sure that you never lose those important photos or those important business documents that may be in your WhatsApp app. So that about wraps it up for this video. If you like the video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to this channel for more content like this in the future. Thanks guys for watching. Be blessed, I'll see you in the next one.